evening once again. Ito yung phase 2 ng soil monitoring na ginawa natin. So this time, gumamit ako ng smart SIM card dito sa second GS GSM GPS GPRS module. Ito yung isang GSM GPRS module. Ito yung para sa mga nagte-text. Okay. Uh, inactivate ko lang yung kanyang automation which I already explained later. Sabi siya ng system is ready tapos uh, inactivate ko yung kanyang automation. So as for the things picks, yung sabi ko na isend yung uh, soil moisture reading sa sa internet and then e-graph. Uh, you can check it here. Okay, this is your account. I created an account for you. So, makita mo itong isa. is 99 siya palagi. Meaning nito is lagi siyang dry. So, dry, 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 dry lang siya palagi. And then, itong isa is uh, medyo nag-increase yung kanyang dryness. Kasi kanina nilagay ko siya sa tubig and then linis. So, itong part, 100 tapos biglang bumagsak sa more less less than 30, uh, less than 50 so nasa 30 uh, percent kasi nilagay ko siya sa meron akong tatlong uh, sensor na nilagay sa tubig so there must be 3 sensors dito na nag-update na nasa babang dyan yung kanyang time December 11, 2016 nandyan din yung kanyang reading okay, that's soil moisture 3, 39 percent 41%, nagiging 42%. So, makita natin real time yung graphing. So, meron kang tatlong sensor. Soil Moisture 3, Soil Moisture 4, and Soil Moisture 5 na nilagay ko sa may tubig. So, dati dry sila, tapos pagkalagay ko sa tubig, babagsak sila ngayon dito. Okay, so let's try tatanggalin ko yung isa, kung alin man sa kanila. Makita ko naman dito kung alin. Okay, let's say tatanggalin ko ito siya. Uh, naka-on is 1, 2, and 6. So, 2, uh, 3, 4, and 5. Naka-off kasi nilagay ko sila sa moisture. Okay, so let's try to uh, for this one. And then, uh, next is Makita natin nung tinanggal ko siya, so in moisture 3, umakyat siya from uh, 42 naging 79 kasi tinanggal ko siya sa tubig. Whereas yung dalawa will maintain as to sa baba. So I guess this is a better way to represent your system. It's because it's graphing in real time. So makita natin paano siya mag move. Let's wait for the update. 79. So nilagay ko siya ulit sa tubig. So, dapat bumaba ito siya, itong sensor moisture, uh, soil moisture number 3. So, let's wait for the update. So, every uh, 30 seconds kasi ang nilagay kong update. Mag-update lang siya dyan ng reading every 30 seconds. Kasi kung uh, may limit ang things peaks, uh, and then yung GPRS connection. So, makita mo bumagsak siya ulit. Okay. And this is happening in real time. You don't need to click uh, refresh. It's... It's just there, graphing your system. So, if you want to download, meron ditong data import and export. So, you can actually unupload the data and you can download the data from ThingsPix. Uh, download all these channels feeds in CSV format. Remember, CSV format is compatible with Excel. So, meaning download mo yung readings, yung time, yung date, and yung reading na percentage in uh, Excel form. So I guess that's a very good system. Thank you very much.